Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. And it's been a little while since we've been with y'all. I know that the last uh, few videos that we did were on Christmas, uh, Christmas uh, gift giving ideas. And um, Cheyenne was on here and we had talked about um, that it was about time for her to go. And she was gonna go into the hospital on Christmas uh, evening at 8.30 in the evening. She had to be checked into the hospital and they were going to induce labor, and she was going to have baby Tate. That happened. We got up, and we had a wonderful Christmas morning with the um, babies opening their gifts and, and spending a kind of a quiet day. We had Christmas dinner, and then we just, um, just kind of relaxed around the house until it was time for the kids to go, and they headed out to the hospital, and she got there. She has her own story to tell, but I will tell you that baby Tate arrived not on Christmas night, but he arrived the next morning on the 26th, um, doing well. Um, he did have a little bit of trouble with his Billy Rubin. And so he, he, from the 26th until, um, yesterday, he had to go, uh, let's see, he was a week old, uh, yesterday. And so on that day, he had a doctor's appointment every single day, but one, he had to go and have his Billy Rubin numbers checked at the hospital. Um, and they were going up at first, but they gave him medication and he sunbathed and um, his numbers are going down. And so he's getting better there in that way. He was also born with a lip tie and a tongue tie and I'll let Cheyenne explain all of that. But he had a couple of procedures done with those yesterday, which was just with clipping. And there's some things that she has to do going forward to make sure that um, um, he, they keep those separated so that the skin doesn't grow back together. And like I said, she'll explain all that to you. But baby Tate is here. He's a beautiful little baby. Um, he was, uh, he is, uh, has dark hair. Don't know that he'll keep it. Howie was born with really dark, dark hair. I was so excited. Um, but he, you can see that he's a little blondie. And so we'll see what happens with Tate. But we're enjoying having that third grandbaby here. I'm kind of concerned about Howie and Rowdy. Howie loves baby Tate. He wants to hold him. He wants to feed him. He wants to do all the things. So we really have to watch, um, not because of being afraid that he's going to hurt Tate um, or be mean or forceful with him, but because he's overprotective of him. That's his baby. He cries if you don't let him, you know, snuggle up next to him. And so I'm really surprised, but really happy with that. Rowdy's not 100% sure what's going on. Um, we've had a couple of little lessons with him on how to, um, you know, not to touch the baby and, and those things. And so, but other than that, he loves the baby as well. And um, all things are, 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 are doing well, or the children are doing well, the grandchildren are doing well, and I am blessed. Um, I hope that you all had beautiful holidays, Christmas, and now New Year's has come. And everyone has been sharing their New Year's resolutions and their goals. And, and I have some of my own as well. Um, probably going to have some big changes coming this year. Uh, a lot of them are exciting changes. Some of them are scary sh changes, things that I'm not 100% sure about. Um, you know, there's probably some things going to be coming for the kids, for Blade and Cheyenne and their family. And uh, that's kind of got me uh, a little bit, but things will be all right. And we'll just keep uh, pressing through here. Um, you know, we have a big year. This is an election year. And oh my goodness, we're already hearing all of the uh, mudslinging. We've heard that for a while, but guaranteed that it's going to get incredibly uh, stronger and nastier as we go along. Um, there's all all kinds of things that people are being pulled to the left and to the right. And, um, you know, we just need to concentrate on doing what we know to do, working for the best of our families in this new year. For, for me, for 2024, when I think about all of the things, all of the plans that I have, that Cheyenne and I have had with um, growing fruits and vegetables and, and having those to sell and flowers and all of the different things. Those things haven't changed, but I will tell you that, um, here in Oklahoma and I, and I know other places of the country, and I've actually shared with you before the pastures where the wild hogs have tore them up 
and we have that problem again, not only us, but some of our neighbors as well. And the state is probably going to have to step in. They have, Oklahoma has a state uh, people that, that take care of these nuisance animals. And these wild hogs can be dangerous. They cost a lot, do a lot of damage on the property. And they got right in the big middle of my strawberry bed. I did not have all of my strawberries planted when they attacked. And so the strawberry beds that I showed you uh, with blade breaking ground and getting the strawberries planted, those have had to be moved to another location. Uh, I've got a location up closer to the house, the pasture that the hogs, uh, we think that the ho hogs won't be able to get access to. So um, I'm having to bring those things closer in. And uh, we'll show all that to you. We are still in the beginning stages of planning and figuring out where all of that is going to go. Um, we've had, uh, you know, we had some challenges with our little piggies. And um, and we'll bring all that to you with their pen building and with uh, uh, some different uh, things that have gone on with them. And those are things that have happened. And now we need to look forward to what's coming down the pike for this new year that is just starting out. I'm thankful for the new life that we have, little Tate, excited about him, excited about the possibilities that 2024 brings, the idea that uh, we can make this place work. Uh, we have to work as well. Um, I'm looking at maybe possibly having to uh, have an outside job, a job away from the farm for a while, um, just just the way that life is. But you know what? It'll be okay. And uh, we've got some big projects coming up. I've got some, uh, get, it's time to, to um, change all of our thinking towards our gardens. I have uh, big plans. Uh, my garden, my ultimate goal is the raised beds. I don't, uh, in the garden, just because aging in place and making it easier on me. And I'm going to try my best to get some started this year, but I'm going to start out. I do have that, um, the black ground cover down. Y'all, have if you've been with me long enough, you've seen that. And I've had really um, good luck with that. And so I will probably still grow inside the garden space that Howie had set up. It's been a garden space from the time he was a little boy. I will probably continue my garden there. I know that I'll continue my garden there in hopes in the future of raised beds. Try some this year, but probably going to continue to grow in ground this year with some trellising and uh, instead of using tomato baskets, I will probably use uh, cattle panels with my tomatoes and my peppers just to make it easier for me. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to have some winter uh, sowing, not sowing like sowing clothes, but sowing uh, seeds in uh, milk, uh, milk jugs and uh, other containers that can be out and get a head start on some of the seeds that need that cold to to uh, to get started. So I'll be doing some of that. And so we have some really fun projects coming up. I have some canning and preserving that's coming up and some uh, trying to just keep the, keep continuing to stock the pantry and make things easier on us as far as budget and all of the things that all of us need to be working on. This is a brand new year, brand new start. I've got, uh, all kinds of goals that I've set for myself this year and uh, not necessarily resolutions, but goals, things that, um, that I feel like are achievable. I need to sharpen some skills. I need to learn some skills. Uh, and I just need to put myself into some kind of schooling that I can make sure that it is something that is, uh, that I can complete. I need to learn some of the basic, basic, uh, items on changing a flat and doing some of the things that I've never had to worry about myself. Others have always been around, but you know, sometimes you find yourself in a situation where you're by yourself and you need to know how to turn, uh, change a flat or you need to know how to turn the water off or, and I don't mean just at the faucet, I mean the water, if there's a big water leak uh, on your property or whatever there happens to be. I have some lessons to learn, but I also have some things that I want to sharpen and I want to pass on some of my skills to some others. 
I'm excited that my little sister, she lives in Louisiana and she's brought property and her and her family, her, her adult children are all moving to this uh, property that they've bought and they've all going to have their little uh, homes there. And so they're going to be working together, growing a garden. And um, she, my sister's already uh, getting into tinctures and those kind of things. And so I'm excited to see her grow in that. I'm excited about the opportunities that perhaps I can teach her some things. I can see that 2024 is probably going to be just as busy, if not busier than 2023. We want to be able to take vegetables and herbs and flowers to the farmer's market. We have a local farmer's market here. Take those there and maybe even take um, vegetables and uh, uh, dried herbs and other products, flower, cut flowers, um, when they produce. And then I want to be able to take things that we harvest in the uh, throughout this the growing season and into the fall and take items that we've... Um, process we've put up. And so I'm excited about the opportunities that we have here in 2024. Um, I know that everything is not nailed down yet, that ch ch you have to be kind of fluid with what goes on and what doesn't go on. You have problems sometimes with animals or, you know, uh, prices go up on uh, animal feed or fuel or even our food that we consume ourselves sometimes. Um, and we have to be flexible and we have to be uh, willing to do all that we can to put up to look well to the ways of our household and to our families. Now the train is coming through and I've been joined by Blade's uh, rowdy dog. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm glad that I had this opportunity to share a little bit with you about Tate and some of our plans for the future here on the farm in 2024. I hope you guys have a blessed year. And until next time, guys, this is Josie. I love you. I really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. And until next time, we're going.